Hi, it's Nick and Holden, um, and today we are talking about Undercover's spring-summer 2003 show, Scab, um, for quarantine critiques. Scab was Shun Takahashi's debut Paris fashion show. Um, what, what do you have any to say about it, Holden? I think Jun Takahashi, this show especially, was inspired by punk culture, and I think Definitely. you can see an overall theme of music and the music he was listening to at the time, how influential that was on him. Well, like other designers like Izzy Miyake and Yoji Yamamoto were kind of focusing on the construction and form of the garment. I think he was really going for the message and kind of his like outlook on the fashion world, if that makes any sense. He says on like all of his, um, all of his garments, at least recently, he says like, we make noise, not clothes. Yeah, like, That's exactly. what it says on the back of the jacket. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's pretty impactful. But yeah, I mean, I, I heard that he was really inspired by the Sex Pistols and he used to listen to them a lot as a kid. Um, and that, you know, he went to one of uh, Ray Tabakubo's uh, 1980 Comme des Garçons sh shows and found out like how music and fashion could be interpolated and um, could influence each other. Um, and it definitely shows in this. I mean, like there's so much punk in this collection, right? He he loved punk um and the punk aesthetic was already out there mm -hmm. but he he also made it elegant in a way i mean i think you know he one of the really special parts of the show to me was the way he he makes like a blazer which is something usually like pretty chic and minimal but it was so many patches on it and it was so distressed um, and I just don't think you were seeing that. And it, it's such a weird, you know, contrasting, like they just, they don't usually make sense. And I think if you were to go to somebody and say, I'm gonna make a collection, I mean, pre-scab um, that infused, you know, uh, grunge and elegance, like it's a pretty hard thing to do, pretty hard thing to do, you know, and for mm -hmm. him to pull it off in such a way, um, in such a creative way. I mean, th that patchwork is like, it's really interesting. There's a, there's a book called uh, The Shepherd by Yoshitomi Naga, I think. And it's the first five years of undercover stuff, but all backstage. And so for the scab show, you can literally like see him sew the patches like, into the stuff. Takahiro Miyashita of number nine, him and uh, Jun Takahashi are pretty close and they met. And really? um, yeah, Jun Takahashi found out about Takahiro Miyashita and then um, literally knocked on his door. And then he opened it up and he was like, hi, closed it immediately. While um, June is very inspired by, uh, this is kind of a tangent, June's very inspired by Western music and that whole grunge culture. I think that uh, Miyashita is really inspired by Americana and specifically the American West. And you can see that in his last show, A Closed Feeling, which he fully embodies the whole thing. Like yeah. cowboy hats everything will maybe flash a picture on the screen, maybe not. Um, like uh, <laughs> like Capital, I think, too, also borrows from that. Yeah. Yeah. They're very similar, mm -hmm. even though, you know, Americana and punk are so opposed. Yeah. The way that they're intersected in Japan mm -hmm. is pretty similar. Um, just if you're talking classes, right? Like the middle class, the lower class, the people that are following this punk aesthetic kind of borrowed from both of those um, elements of fashion. When I look at Scab, I think a lot about construction and right. I think a lot in terms of architecture too. Like you never see a house with the support beams showing through, at least not most of the time. And so when mm. you see that red thread and those patches and they're very visible, it's drawing attention to also how the garment was made. That blazer, I really like, like what you were saying before. I just, I love those patches and just, because blazer is very clean cut, you know, you can't really see the seams and yeah. the thread and everything, but this one, it's like, you can see everything about how the jacket everything. was built. I think like, if you saw this collection, um, you could never have guessed what Undercover um, turned into. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, like what they're doing now is just so different. Um, and that speaks so much to, to June as a designer and like mm -hmm. how he's not really, um, you know, I mean, if, if we're talking about Rick, like I love Rick, but like yeah. he does have his box and he does have his niche, but June mm -hmm. seems so much more mobile in what he can do. 
I'm just waiting to see another collection like um, Give Peace a Chance, T, like like the yeah. new punk Japanese like forefront. And I think that they're yeah. kind of central on graphics now, if that makes sense. So you see the U a lot, undercover is on undercover. They're kind yeah. of putting their brand out a little more like a Supreme type thing. I think, you know, I think what I really respect about um, Takahiro Miyashita is that when number nine kind of got too controlling for his creative needs, he left. Right. And then he started the soloist, which meant he's it's like one man job. Yeah. I want to see, I want to see some new emerging designers. Yeah. I want to, I see that. I wish Ray Calcubo, you know, um, n- number six, I think that's what her magazine was called. Number nine. No, not <laughs> that's hard to find. Number six. Yeah, number six, I've never read it. Seven. Or yeah. seen it. I know you're talking I, about this. I just wish like that magazine was kind of like, because it was discontinued. So, yeah. But I just wish she could like promote. Like, I'm not, like, trying to put a burden on Ray. Like, Ray, if you're watching this, I'm not trying to do that at all. If this episode <laughs> blows up somehow and you're watching this, yeah, I'm really not trying to do that. Yeah, it's going to blow up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it is interesting to think about, like, what what um, a scab collection would look like now. Mm-hmm. Like, what that kind of um, punk would be expressed like, as. Because, you know, Kanye mm-hmm. has, has been doing the homeless look. Yeah. Um, I, and he tried that, and I'm not personally a fan of the um, the big labeling on the new undercover stuff, just mm-hmm. because all those skater brands are doing it first. Yeah. Um, so I think it'd be great to see like a callback to this collection somehow. The scap collection reminds me a lot of uh, about. Have you seen Margiela's Salvation Army collection? Uh, Mar- yeah. It's like a really old one. Yeah, where he made the yeah. stuff out of socks and whatever regarding the rebuilding and reuse of old clothing is a very um Mm -hmm. it's an homage to the past and to the future so when they walk out in those colorful like because it's not like a black or a white or a muted tone no it's it's the opposite of the first part of the show mm -hmm. and i think it may be being a i don't know i was thinking um something to the LGBTQ plus community. It's not the color of a rainbow, obviously, but there are many colors mm-hmm. in people. And I think that right. maybe like, like, I don't know. I, that just reminded me of it. I can't tell you why. I think, no, I think there's something there. I think mm-hmm. definitely the, uh, when you show a rainbow or like a bunch of different colors of any kind, um, mm-hmm. you know, people think of inclusion and, yeah. um, you know, not necessarily diversity, but just future. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. And for him to just do that, one burkas are usually never, you know, colorful, especially in like, uh, you know, Iraq. They're traditionally mm-hmm. black and you know brown. Um, so talking about duality, that makes sense. But also like the fact that it's. I mean, it showed in October 2002, and then um, that was right after 9-11 um, in America and the West are coming into Iraq. Um, and, and I read somewhere that um, in the fashion world, um, nobody was really talking about that. You know, I mean, um, it's something so political and so sensitive. Um, and then for him, for his first show to come out, and then end it, um, I think it, one, shocked everybody, but it also sums up the collection pretty well. Burkas are supposed to cover and show attention away from somebody and like, right. like, like hide the identity, but especially when the burka is sheer and colorful, it attracts attention to that person. Yeah. What did we, what did we like? What did we not like? What did, yeah, what, well, I mean, final opinions? What what is there not to like? Let's be real. Yeah, that's I can't. I'm giving this. <laughs> if I was Anthony Fantano, strong ten. This, <laughs> this is, is like a death grips. I mean, maybe we have to pick. You know, worse shows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not good. <laughs> the Let's new the new Heidi Slumane and Celine show that was inspired by TikTok. No, I haven't that seen one? that one. <laughs> no, no I haven't dude, seen look that. that up after this. You know that oh, Tiago God. song, that, like my name is Tiago, like that one from TikTok. No way. <laughs> he uses that. Oh my God. Like Heidi Slimane went 
downhill. No, 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 no. That is so nasty. <laughs> is there anything you would, um, you know, you have to say, you know, negatively or negatively? not necessarily negatively, but not positively? About the I show? would say I would, I, I see Jun's, uh, over time, he works on his presentation, like thinking of it more as right. performance art and the scene where the show takes place in. Being that this was his first Paris show, I can't really say that he was going to have a very ornate thing, and like a big reputation built up in order to do that. But I would have liked yeah. to see some other um, sculptural elements surrounding the show and just like more of a, instead of like a, like a catwalk with just people on either side, maybe do something more like a, like I was talking about a closed feeling a while back. I really like that scene of the show just because when it opens, the mm -hmm. model there's like those lights and then the model as he walks that that light does it and then that light goes and that light goes and that it's like very think of it like more as like a performance art than showing the clothes and I would have liked to see that more. I have to agree with you. Mm -hmm. um, though I do think that like I think the background and the, you know, the, the placement of um, the people in the catwalk, I, I was a fan of that because I think it added mm -hmm. to like the mystery of it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I think, if you I don't know you June and you're stepping into this show and then you see, and then you just see this close, right? I don't mm -hmm. know. It doesn't give you a lot of hints. And I like that. This was our first episode and we're not sure what we're going to review next, but follow our Instagram at Quarantine Critiques right here. Shameless plug. Shameless and plug. yeah, stay updated. This is going to be uploaded on Instagram TV and uh, YouTube. So yeah, check it out. Yeah. Yeah, definitely check out this show. Scab, yeah. great. Scab, amazing show. All right, well... <laughs> We'll catch you next time. Signing off. Yeah. <laughs>